Good morning, it's Bev of Planet Crochet. This morning, I'm going to show you how to do this shell applique. What you'll need is two yarns, your usual hook that goes with that yarn, scissors and a needle and a stitch marker. Working in the rounds, and that's where the stitch marker comes in. You don't lose your stitch. I'll be using UK terminology. The yarn I'm using is Stylecraft. This video isn't sponsored, I just like to use their yarns. This is double knit. It recommends a 4mm hook, this purple one, but I'm dropping down half a hook size and this makes your applique nice and tight. Start with a magic circle. And you want 8 double crochet in that circle. We're not joining. You will go straight into your first double crochet and this is where you'll want a stitch marker. Place two double crochet in your first double crochet from the first round. Then you'll not lose that stitch. Into the each of the next seven double crochet, you want two double crochet. I'll meet you at the end. Back at the beginning, take your stitch, mar stitch marker out. Start with one double crochet. Pop your marker back in. And then you'll want two double crochet in the next stitch. And you do this repeat. One, double crochet, two double crochet and we're increasing all the way around so it's one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet in the next stitch and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Back at the beginning, stitch marker out, first stitch put one double crochet Next stitch, one double crochet. I'll pop my stitch marker in because you can lose it. There you go. Next double, cro next stitch, two double crochet. And there's the pattern. One, one, two. One, one. Two. Do that repeat all the way around to the beginning and I'll meet you there. In this round the stitches will be taller as it goes round and then bring it back down again to the beginning. I've took the stitch marker out. We're using different stitches this time. Still UK terminology. One half treble in each of the next three stitches and don't forget your stitch marker in your first there you go two more half treble two double sorry two half treble in the next stitch one half treble in the next three stitches. And to increase, one half treble and one treble. Going a little bit higher now. In the next three, one treble crochet. In the increase, two treble crochet. One treble crochet in the next three stitches.
two treble for the increase. In the next one, one treble crochet. In the next two stitches, you want a double treble. So that's yarn over twice and do the same as the treble. Yarn through two, yarn over two, go through two. Yarn round twice in your stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over through two and two again. It's a bit of an art to get them the posts nice and neat. It took me a while. Two double treble in the next stitch. Keep catching one, that's it. In the next three stitches, you want one double treble. So we're still doing a bit high stitch. Good practice too if you've never done this stitch before. Oops, missed it. And then two double treble to increase. Three double treble, one in each of the next stitches, three stitches. I'm going to go down again in size in the next stitch. The increase stitch, you want one double treble and one treble. So going down. Next three stitches, one treble. In the last stitch, one treble and one, oops, a daisy, and one half treble. Bit fiddly. There you go, there's your shell. Now the middle, you don't want to pull it too tight. I'm going to Struggle to get my hook in there, maybe. Just make a hole, that's it. Because the next round is the surface stitching with the contrast colour. I can't find the grey to finish off this, so I'm going to use this white. And I'll show you how to do the surface stitching. This part is a little bit fiddly. Once you've got going from the middle, going round and round, your direction automatically just follows. You can see in the middle, and then you just go around in the natural holes that's already there. I mean, you don't have to, you can leave it like that and, and do a pattern on how you like. I'm just going to show you how I did this. And that's what it looks like on the back. Pop your hook. Make sure you don't catch the other middle tail because you want to sew that in the beginning at the end and you actually did start here you can see where you left if you just go down diagonally you almost want to go up and just catch the white from the back don't do this too tight Maybe use your four millimeter hook if you like, or a half a hook size bigger, just so it's a little bit loose. You don't want it too tight. You've done all that work and you don't want to ruin it doing this. And you're gonna go, I'm right-handed, you're gonna go left and round, so it's anti-clockwise. 
and just use the natural holes that's there. So you'll be turning your work. You'll be working anti-clockwise, but you're turning your work clockwise. And then just do surface chains all the way around. Like I say, don't do it too tight. Use the holes, you can see them, it's already there. Now, if you get to this point and you're not, if you will see you're somehow catching back into there, just pull it out and start again. It should oops, go automatically round past the start. Just watch your tails at the back, you don't catch them. Or oh, another point, um, forgot to say, leave a long tail. I haven't left one, but leave one so you can sew on your applique. Don't just cut yourself short. Otherwise, you can sew it on with another piece of yarn. But if you don't have to keep having lots of ends to sew in, all the better. I don't like sewing in ends. It's a personal hit of crochet, if you like. And there you go. And you literally just follow the holes all the way around. I'll go around and around and I'll come to here and I'll show you how to do all the way around. There you go. Oops, need some more yarn. A little bit fiddly as I said because of all your little tails at the back. And when you've got to the last stitch, go into the top of the stitch on that last row and go all the way around. It's good to play with colours, so you could use any colours for this or any of the other pliques I've used. You don't have to use what you see shells coloured as. It depends on your theme of your blanket or your project. And that's it, all the way around. All the way around. As I say, if you want, use a, a half a size hook, hook bigger and um, it won't be as tight maybe. Or just uh, make it a little bit looser as you go around. And when you get back to here, I went down the half a treble post and put a stitch or two in. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go do this off camera and I'll co come back and show you how I did it. There you go, right round to the end. And you want to come down this post. You could finish it there if you like. If you like that look, you finish it there. I was playing around when I, when I designed this. And just a smaller hook would be even better. But you want to catch, which I haven't done. You want to go into the post, really, because if you go into there, it'll just the stitch will just hang around. There you go. It's a little bit fiddly, but persevere. And then go into the bottom there. Want to go in the bottom. There you go. So if I just snip that off, I'll show you. Pull that through. You'll have to neaten it up. And then what I did, take your needle and tuck it in between those two chains or just behind. And then sew in. This is going to go on a blanket, so you're not going to see the back. Try and still be as neat as you can. Because um, you don't want bulk. What I did was thread it 
through the stitches that correspond. Same with the yellow, but it's called buttermilk, but the yellow I sew along the yellow stitches. There you go. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you've had a go, head over to my Instagram. Same name, Planet Crochet. I'd like to see what you've done. And thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. That does help me out. And I will catch you again on another video. Bye for now.